Well, hello everybody! I'm Jenny with Budget Determined, and today I'm going to be closing out my May budget. So, let's just get started into it. We're just going to start out with my wallet, and I've already removed my cards for privacy purposes. Literally, literally, you guys, I have no money left this month. We did not go over, but we spent everything that we had. So, food zero, uh, gas zero, miscellaneous zero, uh, the spending money is zero, medical zero. I do have cash in that one, but that one does not have to do with our home finances. This one has to do with my side hustle business, budget determined for my Etsy shop. This is where I keep money for mailing. Um, your orders. So, and my Etsy shop will be listed below in the description. Um, let's grab our coin jar. Get that over here. What are the fuel prices where you guys are at right now? Um, I'm in Idaho and so far it's kind of holding steady at right around five dollars a gallon which is still way beyond what I want to spend. But here's our coins. We're not going to count them. We're just going to dump them. But so far, we're managing. We are lucky enough to live within walking distance of a lot of things in our small town. It's a small town, so basically you can see from one side to the other pretty closely. <laughs> that might be a little bit exaggeration, but um, yeah. So we're done with the wallet and let's get into my budget book. We're doing the Legend budget book this year and I'm really liking it. It's great for the month, monthly paychecks like what we get in our household right now. We're paid monthly and um, I'm having to adjust it a little bit, but so far it's working and we're going to make it work the rest of the year and we'll reconfigure it and figure it out later. So let's go to May. So May, our goals were to pay off $300 um, in medical bill, which we accomplished. We paid for the daddy-daughter date, which got done. They had a great time eating sushi and whatnot. Um, got my son a new wardrobe and we contributed to absolutely all of the savings funds. So we basically had the breakdown, what we budgeted for, what we ended up spending after we found out what our actual income was, and the difference. And this is, we didn't do anything for our savings challenges out of our main monthly income. And these are the sinking funds that we contributed out to out of our regular paycheck. Then we have the breakdown here, zero base budget, assign every dollar, and then how our groceries were spent and our gas. And with a zero budget, we spent it all. I always round, when I purchase something, I always round it up and then those coins get saved even when I'm swiping my card when I enter it into my book or when I do an online purchase, I always round it up and deduct a higher number than what the balance actually was. That way we're completely in the safe zone and it slowly builds a buffer, which it adds up faster than you would think. So these were our side hustles. We have what I took from my Etsy income each week plus what we earned in other. We've been clearing out clutter and selling things, plus um, beyond that, my husband has a side hustle, and we've been, um, like I said, we've been selling a bit of clutter around the house, things we don't need. And now, starting this month, not, not in the month of May, but in this month, we will also have, in addition, farmer's market because I do farmer's market every summer and really love it. It's great for the community. It's you can find so many cool things. There are so many creative people out there. Absolutely love it and we're supporting locals. It's, it all goes for a good cause. So here are the, our savings challenges that we can 
that we contributed to and we completed a couple of them. Yay, victories. And we, into savings challenges, we put $424. Our side hustle income was over $2,000. That was due to this last week. Um, my husband had some stuff in on consignment in a shop locally here that sold and but we also had an emergency fund to replenish because we had an auto repair bill um, to take care of so that's where half of that money went to was replenishing that um, all the other money it went to wall of debt and so additional on the principal for debt savings challenges and building up our side hustle um not side hustle <laughs> sorry i was reading um i'm a little bit tired i've been working 15 hours so it's been a long day and yeah um but building up our sinking funds so here's the last we need to figure out what we saved this month and what our debt change was so let's do that Make sure you guys can see where I'm at. For what we saved, we had $110 here. 100 goes into emergency fund. Oh no, we had 150. Let's do that. Let's make sure I get it right. And sinking funds we had 475 and that was out of our regular income then savings challenges 424 plus and then 273 equals 1322 which is awesome that is that is amazing you guys now mind you some of that went into sinking funds and has now gone to like my son's wardrobe and whatnot like that but it was still set aside for saving and I don't know how to do the math any other way. If you guys have a better, more accurate way of figuring it out, please give me a shout out and let me know because my brain is completely fried right now. And so I'm just kind of doing the best I can on this. Um, for debt change, this is our new current balance of our debts. This is before June's payments. Mind you, this is after May's payments, but before June's. So also, if you guys remember, I have $300 set aside that has to go to additional payment on principal. This does not accommodate for that because I have not managed to take it to the bank yet. I will be taking it to the bank tomorrow. Or, well, this is this video will be posting on Monday, so today. Yes, so um, we need to go back here. Our prior debt balance was 99,586 minus 98,375 equals 1,211. And this does not include our mortgage. We have a mortgage that gets paid on every month as well. But that's good progress, you guys. And so for this next month, our priority sinking funds are going to be food stock up, vacation, medical, emergency, and birthdays. We just want to focus on really building the food stock up. We just purchased 10 uh, farm-raised free-range chickens for meat um, they already came from the butcher and everything and then we have a half a hog coming and I think we'll be getting it next week we put a deposit on it and 
we're waiting to find out the total exactly on that. We have to find out the exact hanging weight, but then we are also on the list to get half a beef come fall. So that would be awesome good food. This is how we provide for our family every year and you cannot beat the quality of meat. So um, it's, it's definitely been a blessing to be able to manage those and we've been able to manage them through the utilization of these sinking funds which is amazing because this is the first year that we've actually been doing sinking funds. So I'm hoping to do, let's, let's quickly do, I don't think, I, I wasn't, no, I wasn't figuring out, I wasn't doing the debt balance back in January back there. Um, end of February, it was lower than what it is now, but mind you, this is after I purchased my car, but before we had our failure of our heat pump on our furnace system, we had to buy all those. So this was the balance after that. So how much have we paid off so far? Since we're now in June, halfway through the year, let's see, let's just do like a halfway, half year checkup. So one zero one six seven seven one hundred and one thousand six hundred and seventy seven minus ninety eight thousand three hundred seventy five equals three thousand three hundred and two dollars. That's awesome. That's that's a third of what our heat pump system cost. So we're making really good progress on that. I'm hoping to pick up some more progress now that farmer's market is starting. And yes, very, very happy. I just kind of want to break that down. <clears throat> Mid-year payoff. Let's go $3,302. It deserves something bright. What is the weather like where you guys are at? It has been dumping, dumping rain here. Um, my arthritis has been going crazy. Uh, my hips have been killing me. I don't want to sit. I don't want to stand. I just want to kind of lay down at an angle with a heat pad wrapped around my hips. Um, it's been quite miserable. My garden, on the other hand, is absolutely loving it. And I will be posting a video of the garden soon. Um, the seedling sprouts have started and, oh my goodness, it makes my heart happy. So, anyways... This is where we're looking at so far. Um, we did get paid, and I'm going to briefly go over that with you guys real quick, just as we're closing out. So, um, I refigured out what kind of the baseline income is that we have every month, just because I hadn't for a while. I was figuring out our budget based off of $4,330 a month, and as you will see, June will kind of reflect on that if you saw my plan with me earlier. But now that I have gone over multiple pay stubs over the last number of months, I feel comfortable with doing a baseline budget of $4,550. So we, I, we have been working on figuring out that budget together and we have managed to kind of recalibrate it and I'm hoping to stay with this for the most part and then whatever we earn above and beyond that like this last month my husband had over 40 hours of overtime which is just absolutely insane and it helped out a lot our income for the entire month him and my him and myself combined was five thousand six hundred and eighty eight dollars but that is a huge jump that's a good paycheck for him um and I'm absolutely proud of him. 
it was it was a lot of lot of hours but the only things that you'll see really adjusted is we now have three hundred and twenty five dollars in auto insurance versus what we had before the 260 and that is based off of my daughter now has her driver's license and so we have her on there as an official driver um, other than that our debt payments have our base debt payments have stayed the same this does not include any above and beyond snowball avalanche payments um, whatever we're doing we kind of bounce back and forth um, and then down here in our everyday life the only things that have changed is spending money is a hundred I have decided that I'm only going to take $40 a month for a while. We were doing $60 each for my husband and myself every month. And, you know, I really don't need anything right now. And so I made the decision for myself that I only want to take $40 every month. And <clears throat> if I spend it all, that's okay. And if I don't, it's it's fine. $40 is completely adequate for me. I'm not I'm not the big spender. So groceries is going to stay the same, gas is going to stay the same, miscellaneous is going up to $20, pets, we need $50 regularly. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had allergies going on. Um, and yes, we have the pets. The kids commission, we're doing 46 instead of the 78. We are considering... Part of this auto insurance is part of my daughter's commission. Um, we also pay for gas money and stuff there for her. So she is now working a job and earning her own spending money and will at some point be taking over her own bills and payments there. So, yeah. And then over here... <clears throat> We have what we're now putting regularly every month into a sinking fund. So we're going to do $50 for medical every month. $50 into food stock up. We have that half beef to figure out there. <coughs> oh my goodness, you guys, I need some water. Clothing, we're going to do $18 per month. This is just out of the baseline paycheck. If we need more... We'll work that out month to month. Um, family time, we're doing $15 for a total of $133. This here is included in this $4,550. See sinking funds right here. This is additional income above and beyond what we're expecting. So above and beyond that $4,550, and $4, we had 1138 Now, household needs, I buy laundry soap and stuff in bulk. Um, I have to buy natural stuff because I have major allergies. I can't do artificial dyes and artificial scents and chemicals and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> my body does not have good reactions to them, so... We had to do a bit of a stock up on household stuff, a couple cleaning supplies there. And here's the chickens. We paid $170 for that, our half a hog deposit right there. And so we still have money left over. I'm hoping to put some towards savings challenges, but right now things are kind of in limbo just because we're waiting to find out the actual final cost of that half hog before I can complete things up to a zero point, sorry, zero based budget point. Um, I can't assign all the dollars if I don't know what this dollar amount is going to be. So we're kind of holding out on spending any more money until after we find out what that is, if that makes sense. Um, once we know that amount though, we will completely assign all the other dollars towards savings challenges and whatnot else that we need. We are still running off the 400 in groceries, 300 in gas, and I have set it up for our income weeks that we'll have stuff coming in, and this is for, of course, side hustle distribution. 
um, and this is what we rolled, etc., and what my husband drew for envelope out of the 100 envelope challenge, so we kind of know what our minimum contribution for certain challenges is supposed to be. Also, of this 2022 challenge, I kind of got a little bit behind in it. It's going to go towards our emergency fund. You save $2,022 sorry, $2,022 by the end of 2022, and you can put it towards whatever you want. For me, every year, I think we're going to do a challenge like that, and it's going to go to building up the emergency fund until it's a fully funded emergency fund. Um, we also do adding to emergency funds every month regularly anyways, but this is a uh, challenge is fun. And so for us to complete it in, in time, this was my calculation of what I need to contribute from June on forward to be able to complete it. Um, it would be $235 minimum per month. Now, we're going to do our absolute best. I, I think we can do it with as many side hustles as we have going on if we watch our dollars and cents. So that is the challenge and we're going to complete it um so that's going to be the end of that thank you for hanging out there on that also if you have been to my shop um i've had a lot of people messaging me wanting to know um when i'm going to have certain items back in stock and if i am currently working on 100 envelope challenges I am also working on more binders and envelopes uh, and everything, so I have big piles here that are in the works. I'm hoping to get a number of products more posted here soon. Um, I also have new products that I'm going to be introducing to the shop. So stay tuned, watch, and follow my shop. I will be posting them. I'll also be doing a small little clip video on here. Hopefully it's small. I don't know. We'll find out. I get chatty sometimes. Um, but I am definitely working on restocking my, sh my shop. Been working very hard. I'm the only one doing it, so I have limited time. I'm working full-time job, plus I have... Um, a family, I've got a garden and all that stuff I have to take care of as well. So if it's not if it's not in stock at the time, you can go ahead and message me and I can let you know when it's back in stock. Um, also, I anything that's out of stock, I do plan on putting back in stock. It's just a matter of time, um, most likely, unless I completely discontinue it. And if I discontinue it, I'll just completely take away the listing, which I haven't done that so far. But who knows what, what's going to happen in the future on everything if, if something becomes unavailable to me or whatnot. So anyways, thank you guys so much. Also, oh my goodness, guys, I am dying. I am missing coffee so, so much for the month of June. I'm not doing coffee and I'm not finding any benefits so far. So we'll see. I have not failed whatsoever. I haven't had coffee whatsoever. <laughs> but, oh my goodness, I miss it so much. All I've been dealing with is complete migraine headaches and no benefit as far as flare-ups or inflammation levels or anything there. Same thing with the soda. Of course, I, know I didn't drink very much soda at all, just one here occasionally, just to help keep me awake at work. I work night shift very often, and as today, I, I work a back-to-back -back, um, today, so as in Sunday. Yeah. So, anyways, you guys please hang tight, send me positive vibes, <laughs> and uh, I'm sending out my love to you. Thank you so, so much. I will see you next time. Stay magic.